What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I am not dead. No. So I just wanted to hop on cam because I know the last few videos were just voiceover and some people have said that they liked it less than when I'm on cam. This one is gonna be kind of the same. I will record some videos along the way of the video, but it won't be that particular day. It's gonna be today, which is April 27th. I apologize. I really have a lot of stuff to do and editing those videos takes so long. It takes so much work. It's kind of overwhelming and those first two weeks of April, I really didn't really record anything because I thought I could do it on voiceover, which I am gonna do. Anyway, welcome back to the channel. This is the first order that I got, 4.9 miles, $24 on Uber Eats, which is a pretty good order in my book. So for this order in particular, she was kind of far. She was like almost five miles and she lives not too far away from my place. I don't really like going there because it's not really an area that pays really well. I used to do DoorDash and Uber Eats in that zone. A lot of apartment buildings, a lot of no tippers, a lot of low tippers, but this one was pretty good. It was a house, it was a leave at my door, so I didn't really have any issues with that order. She tipped $11, which is really good because it was not a lot of items, if you remember correctly. Then Uber decided to send me another great order, $19 for 2.5 miles for only 10 items that I obviously accepted. For that order, I was not able to get the drop off and I was not able to take a picture because when I arrived, literally their dogs went completely berserk. They were barking so loud and they had the door open. The, the screen door was closed, but the door was open so I could see inside their house and they were there and they said thank you when I put the stuff on the floor so I was like let me just get out of here and I didn't take a picture but they tipped six dollars and ninety cents which is fine it took me 31 minutes from start to finish nineteen dollars for 30 minutes is pretty good to me I accepted this eighteen dollar order going 3.8 miles for only six items I actually do not like this customer I don't like her because she always orders the same stuff that's never in stock she never answers the messages in time she lives in a gated community the security guard is rude as hell she never answers the door so this time it was a pin order number she had to give me a pin on uber right she never ever answered the door i knocked i rang the doorbell i waited i had to bypass the pin number because the nothing else was happening even though she was there she's always there when i rang the doorbell there was like a voice who was like please you can leave the groceries at the door and i was like i need a pin number i need the pin number and she would just not open the door and also she doesn't tip well she orders a bunch of stuff that's expensive and she does not tip more than five dollars she tips five dollars every time no matter how big or small the order is and that day was no exception five dollars flat tip was what i received and i had to bypass the pin number like i said i don't like doing that because you know they can always claim that they never received the order and i received my first doordash order of the day 22 dollars for 0 0.8 miles for 26 items which is a pretty good order as well and i stacked that doordash order with an uber eats order for one mile 18 dollars for only nine items so again i shopped both orders at the same time and i went to deliver both orders at the same time it was a pretty easy stack because both orders were actually going to houses both orders were leave at my door both orders were super easy to shop for so i really can't complain about this one it was a great stack <laughs>
So like I said, it was a pretty good stack order, $41 total for those two orders. So really absolutely cannot complain. This put me above $100 for the day. Then I accepted this $15 order going 0.6 miles on Uber Eats on the eight items. For this order, it was actually super easy. It took me 15 minutes from start to finish from when I accepted the order to when I slide delivered on the app. Basically, it was for all frozen pies you know, peach pies, strawberry pies. And she came to meet me at the door, so I didn't even have to do anything, basically. And she tipped $7.56, which is pretty good for only eight items. And I accepted this anomaly of an order, one mile, $32 for four items, but 25 units. That order was for a regular customer of mine. I deliver to him almost every week. His name is Frank. And basically he ordered one pack of dog food. I think it was 25 pounds, six bottles of bleach. And he ordered the rest of the items or individual cans of liquid death, the sparkling water. I don't understand because they have packs of that, but he wanted, I think it was like 12 or 14 individual cans of that. They didn't have the individual cans. They only had four bottles of bleach and they only had like, I think one of the can of liquid death. I sent him a message and I was like, you want the, a pack of that? Because they have the same amount of cans that you want in a pack and it's literally $10 less. And he was like, Yes, let's do that. So there was something else. I don't remember what it is right now, but there was something else. It was the easiest order I've done in a long, long time. And as you can see, he tipped $20 and that only took me 31 minutes from start to finish. So it was an amazing order. Then I accepted my second DoorDash of the day, $18.25 for 2.2 miles for only 10 items. And he tipped six dollars which is pretty good the only problem is that where he lives is just old traffic is going in that direction but sadly i can't do anything about it and on my way back i got this amazing order 34 dollars for 2.7 miles 25 items 28 units on uber that i obviously accepted so for that order i don't know if you guys remember the lady who gave me like the la croix drink one time she gave me like a to-go cup whatever and that lady is that order right here and so basically she always has a pin number because she orders a bunch of stuff she's an amazing tipper her house is in like a really narrow street but honestly it's not complicated to go there and she's really 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 nice and she tips really well so this time it was pretty easy 25 items she answers the phone if you call her but she's not gonna answer the messages but usually she approves all of the replacements that you get because her stuff is not really complicated to get so that was an amazing order i love shopping for her and this time was no exception 20 dollar flat tip it took me an hour and 10 minutes to shop for that and the Deliver. So that's a pretty good ratio right here. This order puts me at above $200 for the day. But it's not finished because as I was going to go back home, I got this $27 order for 1.2 miles for 14 items on Uber Eats and I obviously accepted it. I don't know this customer I've never delivered to him before but he tipped $14 it went down a little bit because I had to refund like one or two things but $14 tip who is going to complain about that so the grand total for the day is $234.33 I completed 10 orders and I was online for about six hours it doesn't really mean anything this active time because like i said i do uber and doordash at the same time and sometimes i shop at the same time for two orders active time on uber and doordash i actually add to each other but i don't really take into account when those two times are actually simultaneous probably less than six hours that i was 
active on active time because of that reason that's why i never give my dash time or my active time because it's just it's useless at this point so the average dollar per order the average dollar amount per order was 23 dollars, which is pretty amazing 23 dollars per order on average and if we actually want to know hourly rate even though it's probably less than six hours but let's say i was active for six hours it makes it 39 dollar per hour which is freaking amazing and i drove a total of 76.7 miles that day so that makes the dollar per mile an amazing three dollar per mile which is absolutely fantastic please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already thank you for watching thank you for commenting thank you for the 1000 subscribers that i hit yesterday i guess or two days ago thank you for all of that my next big step is to get 4,000 hours of watch time i'm at about like 3,000 right now and then i will be able to be monetized not that i'm planning on being a millionaire with those videos but it's like it's a milestone that i wanted to have since i opened this channel almost nine months ago i began the channel i think in june then i took a long break in august i don't know if you guys remember and then i went back to posting around September, October. So it hasn't been even nine months that I'm really, really consistent with that channel. So I'm really happy with hitting 1000 subscribers already. And after I will get 4000 hours of watch time, I will be able to be monetized. And that was the big milestone. That's the big step that I want to reach just to prove to myself that I can do it. I'm enjoying doing these videos. I'm enjoying doing this channel and hopefully you guys do too. For the meantime, thank you for everything and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.